I'm Justin Hill, a heavy equipment operating engineer. I'm a certified rigger. The rigger's responsibilities are to inspect the rigging, know the working capacity, and to properly attach it to the load. Here, I will explain a few major considerations for inspecting the rigging. Inspection considerations. One, knots and kinks reduce capacity by 50%. This rope has a knot in it, therefore it will reduce the lifting capacity by 50%. Number two, hooks must have a hook latch. This hook here doesn't have a hook latch. This is unfit for rigging. This hook does have a hook latch. This is what a hook latch looks like. Number three, no loops with U-bolts. This is a loop with U-bolts. These are what U-bolts look like. This is unfit for rigging. Number four, no bolted together or welded together. This chain was too short, so they bolted it onto another chain. This is always unfit for rigging. Number five, no tears or frays in slings. This sling has a couple tears in it, therefore it's unfit for rigging. Number six, chains and slings must have a tag. This chain doesn't have a tag. This chain does have a tag, or this sling does have a tag. This sling also doesn't have a tag on it because it's cut off because it's unfit for it. Number seven, grade eight or T-steel minimum. Even though this hook has a tag on it, it's not grade eight or T-steel, therefore it's unfit for it. Thank you.